Now, why are Yasuna in court? Honestly, she's on trial for something. I mean, I know the we looked at it in the last episode why, but, seek nothing but absolute who is that? In heaven's name. <laughs> We've never seen him before when he's presiding over a court case. To those on trial, Interesting. Believe in heaven and speak only the truth. It's fair to truth, talk to it, and but the truth, so help you God. Mr. Kelk Ronso. Do we? Summoner <laughs> Yuna. <laughs> Apparently we don't. <laughs> You have swore <laughs> to protect the people of Yavon. True? No. I don't yes. Yeah, apparently she has. Then consider. You have inflicted dire injury upon Maester Seymour Guado. Conspired with the... Dire Adler injury? We killed him! That ain't dire insurrection. injury, that's murder. <laughs> These are traitorous and unforgivable crimes that disturb the order of Yavon. How does it disturb the order of Yavon? It's a frickin'... Religion. It's not Tell like it's a court cult. Possessed you to participate in such violence. Yes, you know. Why did you kill this guy? Your Grace. The real traitor is Maester Seymour. What? No. He killed his father Jiskel with his own hands. Really? What is this? He didn't. How does he not know? <laughs> Hadn't you heard? Seymour's all nonchalant about it, like, yeah, I killed him. Not what of it? Maester Seymour is already dead. It is a summoner's sacred duty to send the souls of the departed to the far plane. Exactly. Yuna was only doing her job as a summoner. Sure, her does. Why are you pissed off at her? Come on, guys. Think. Grand Maester Micah, please send Seymour now. Why? He's the Grand Maester. Send the unsent to where they belong? Yes. That's what I said. Yes. <laughs> Maester? Yeah, what's going on, Maester Micah? You're scaring us. the dead? Hmm? You're scaring us, Micah. You're scaring us. Uh. You're dead. You would have to send me. What? Yeah, you're dead too? Grand Maester Micah is a wise leader. Even in death, he is invaluable to spirit. Really? <laughs> Enlightened rule by the dead is preferable to the misguided failures of the living. <laughs> <laughs> I love that line. Life is but a passing dream, but the death that follows is eternal. Just take that line into consideration in Men real life. die, beasts die, trees die. Even continents perish. Yes, they do. Only the power of death truly commands its spirit. Really? Resisting its power really? is futile. But what about the sin? hundreds of people who died fighting sin, the millions of people who died by sin? You're saying that was all for nothing? Summoner, my lord. Really? Like saying it can't be stopped? Me. Really? I'm on a pilgrimage to stop the death that sin brings. Are you... Are you telling me that too is futile? Apparently so. Because apparently in spirit, death is what they want. Grand Maester they Micah, want death and destruction! Not alone. All the people who have opposed sin. Their battles. Their sacrifices. Were they all in vain? It appears so, Yuna. Micah has betrayed you. Your faith not in vain. has betrayed you. No matter how many summoners give their lives, sin cannot be truly defeated. Really? That's what you're going by? Cannot be Isn't the whole entire thing you're going with? Yet the courage you of repent those for your sin. Gives the people hope. Sin will disappear. Really? That's what you're going with, but there you're saying he can never be defeated. There is nothing futile in the life and death of a summoner. 
Never futile, but never ending. Hmm. Indeed, that is the essence of Yevon. Really? The essence of Yevon is basically betraying the people like sworn to protect. It by eternal, unchanging continuity, Summoner. No. That can't be right. He's telling you the way it is. Those who question these truths, they are traitors. Can we kill him now too? He's pissing me off. Lord Micah. Can I shove my sword up his ass? <laughs> they cage status. Why'd they put him in a cage with Orn? Why? I'm sure they have plenty of cages there. Fizzy for the crimes they have so called committed. I hope Yuna's okay. Hmm. She's strong. She'll make it. That that animal Titus, you care more about Yuna than yourself. Good. I actually respect that a lot. What? So she can die? Why is it everything in Spira seems to revolve around people dying? Ah, the spiral of death. Spiral of death? Orin, huh? you're scaring us. Summoners challenge the bringer of death, sin, and die doing so. Okay. Guardians give their lives to protect their summoner. Okay. The faith are the souls of the dead. Even the maesters of Yevon are unsent. Okay. Spira is full of death. Only sin is reborn, and then only to bring more death. Wow. It is or that's your answer for all this? Endlessly. That's your answer for all of this. <sighs> that is your one only Come answer out. right there. Your sentence has been decided. Sentence? Sentence? Don't you mean execution? <laughs> really now, what person would execute a dear friend? You would. <laughs> <laughs> so fuck off, Kinok. It's pretty much what Orange just said. Nice. I love that. <laughs> This makes no sense. Looks like you're next. Yeah, next for what? Yeah, what is that gonna be next for? Get going. Where's everybody else? Floating down there somewhere, maybe. Really? You're throwing them in water and they'll die? Seriously? Ooh, you made it! <laughs> you throw the three people who are known swimmers in water What's to try to sentence? kill them. Think they expect us to give up and die down here? Why can't you throw like Kamari or Orin's ass well, down that's in the a water? That would be someone. yeah, it's Titus. That'd be an interesting thing to do. Throw the I guys who can't swim in the water because then they'll Wonder die. Wait for her. Hmm. Let's wait at the exit. If there is an exit. Yeah, if there's an exit, okay. We get that. How fair is the Ronso Mister? Obviously, he's in shock. It seems my father's murder troubles me. What do you think? <laughs> Betraying your own people now. Mm -hmm. Ever the wrong What the hell does that mean? Hard headed. Hardly useful. Are you. S oh my god, you're not really However, saying what I think you're saying. The summoner Yuna, daughter to High Summoner Braska. She may be of some use to us alive. We get it, Seabor. You ought to tap that. Now stop trying she to force has it. She disturbed the order of Yevin. She cannot be allowed to live. Really? I understand. Let it go, Seymour. 
No one thrown into the Via Purifico has ever survived. Really no. What's the Yet Via Purifico? There's always a small chance that they might. Was that really through Titus Walker and Rico? guards at the exit kill any who emerge. Wow. Sir, leave that to me. <laughs> oh. First your father, now your bride. Allow me to do this because she is my bride. Really? <laughs> Wait, I will go too. You do not trust me? Why should we? Would you trust a man who murdered his father? No, Kinak, I wouldn't, but we I still know. hate you too. As you wish. I really wish someone would kill both of them. Lady Yuna, forgive me. Here's what I don't get. Why would they throw everybody who can't swim in a dungeon, but those who can swim in water? This is the only time in the game you actually get to control Yuna. And interesting little tidbit. Titus can swim. Not the interesting tidbit there, but the interesting tidbit is here. You pretty much have to level up Yuna. And I accidentally got Kamari. I did not mean to get him. Yuna, sorry we left you alone. You can do it without. No. You can do it without it's Yuna. Okay. And I actually did not mean to do that. That was a complete accident. But eh, I got a skill. I got a mega potion for all my troubles anyway. How I messed up was I actually forgot that the platforms move. And the platforms don't move, but I forgot that they actually teleport to two different locations off of one platform. Not just to a certain area like I thought they did. But hey, we get Orin back. There must be an exit somewhere. We search. Yes, we search. I save here just for the fact that I may actually die. Because you never know when you could die, especially something like I this. this place. And I showed you that because I showed you that you cannot escape even if you wanted to. And this guy right here is pain because he heals himself. Now killing Kamari that gives him no experience. You do need to level up Yuna a little bit for something that happens a little sexy. Really, really soon you need to level her up for that. So yeah. Orin will slowly whittle away at the HP here, but no, I just say screw it. <laughs> Kamari's dead and got up anyway. And let's get Ixion to come out. This is the first Aeon you've actually ever seen me summon. Why? Because I didn't level Kamari. If I were to level Kamari, it would have been a lot better. A lot better if I were to level Kamari because I wouldn't have had these problems. And he does instantly. That's a really weak hit by Ixion, actually, and you can see the fact that it is an electric type attack. It should do a lot more, but it doesn't. Yeah, Yuna got 8 sphere levels for that one fight because she has not fought anybody yet. I think I actually have 3 of these, which is really bad. You notice that Kamari is. I healed him completely just because. why not? I do need to level him up for an event that happens later in the game, so I need to level up anyway. So I figure, eh, why not just level him up here? It's easier that way. Later. He got 13 for that one level up, while Yuna got 4 more. This is a place you haven't used your characters for, it's a good place to grind, <laughs> if you haven't noticed. But, if you're like me, you only have one character with power. This fight could get challenging because I don't think I have a Phoenix down, so I just might to try to kill this guy. I mess up brutally. I didn't even get it. I wasted the overdrive. Now that guy will heal himself. I almost guarantee, I almost guarantee the fact he will. Yeah, 
Yep. I don't know what that did. That still didn't even kill it, but he's weak enough now to the point where one can kill him in one hit no matter what now. And yeah, he is dead. And now I gotta heal up Yuna for the next part of the fight. For a, the next fight. I don't know what happens next. So what happens after we get out of this little hallway? Actually, first I'm gonna use the sphere grid. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with each character while I do it. I'm doing this on screen sphere grid. I do apologize for the slight distortion in the picture, that's just my capture card being my capture card. If anybody has any tips on a better capture card I could get, please let me know, because I would love to use that. And there's something that I don't do here that I kind of should do that would make me a lot better, but I'm not going to do it. And I'll explain it when I get to that particular point, which is in about, I don't know, 20 seconds or so. Now, actually, what I could do in the very next move, I could move up there, break open that level one lock, and use my str and use that uh, plus four strength in there. So I'll significantly increase the power of my Aeons. But I don't use Yuna, so I figure why not? Why would I do that? Now, actually, Kamari needs to go into Riku's grid. The reason for that because later in the game, you're gonna have a fight with Kamari only. And you need to draw. You need to steal items from the enemies. So yeah, that's why I'm bringing him into Riku's grid here. I believe this is the only time I ever actually get experience for Kamari because no, I think I actually. No, I th I'm not actually sure if this is the last time I get experience for Kamari. I have already recorded a few episodes ahead, so I'm not positive if I remember if I got the stuff for Kamari or not. Steel is all I need, but I just get used because it's a force of habit, pretty much. So yeah, I'm almost done with the sphere grid here. So... Yeah, and now Yuna is got a lot more health. Kamari got a lot more health. And yeah, here we are, Alf, right after that little hallway. Lady Yuna, so it is you. Yes, it is. Why are you here, Saru? We rode the airship to the Calm Lands, then came to Bevel. Really? Maester Kinnock summoned us, then ordered us to deal with the traitors. Are you actually going to do it when you see us how you worship my father? You will fight us. The temple's orders are law. Really? Even if you are, Lord Rasuka's You're going to pull that card on us? You're a traitor. Wow. Forgive me, Lady Yuna. So you got to fight you now? Not cool. But, can Yuna actually defeat Asaru in an Aeon duel? And what waits Titus, Waka, and Riku in the water? Find out in the next episode of Let's Play Fine Fantasy X. Your Aeons against mine.